Hey everyone, okay, so I thought we would do some of my favourites this month. It's, just, it's been a little bit of a while since I've done that. I'm filming in daylight today as well, it's very bright outside. Okay, so let's make a start. The first one I'm going to talk about, and this one, <laughs> I've been loving this, is by Eve Lom, and it is the Rescue Peel Pads. Looks a bit like this, which is very bright, so I'll hold it here. And it contains 60 pads, which is actually 30 more than a lot of other companies. Of course, it's a high-end product, but the fact that I get double the amount that I've got from other brands that I've loved, like Dr. Dennis Gross, etc., makes me feel it's worth it. Pads are, look how bright that is. The pads are pre-soaked. Now, for somebody like me that uses an exfoliant about once a week, these last me a year, so it's an absolute bargain for me. Of hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids, and polyhydroxy acids. Some people have said that they're a little bit too strong. I haven't felt that myself. I find them excellent. And the fact that this will last me a year is absolutely perfect. Let's talk about eye primers. So, the company called P. Louise, they make incredible eye primers, which also double up as a concealer if you really want that kind of coverage. They come in a range of colors, which is great. And they look like this, and they're really, really good. I mean, truly, they're very, very good. And eyeshadow adheres to them, and intensity is definitely there with them. The only issue is, is I find the website really, really difficult to navigate. It isn't it's just not easy. It's not like you've got eyebrow or lip or it's just all over the place. And you don't, you click on one and it's that color, but you have to go to another page to find another color. It's very confusing to me unless I'm doing it wrong. They also did a limited edition one, which I bought. Look at the size of that. That is 330 mils worth of eyeshadow primer in there. Absolutely crazy to buy that, but I couldn't help myself. I bought it a couple of years ago. Um, okay. Foundation, what I'm wearing today on my face for this video is Fenty Beauty. I'm wearing this one and I'm wearing shade 260. And it is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I really like it. I think it looks really, really good. I put a tiny bit of powder on and that's about it, but it's really good. I didn't put it on my ears, as you can tell, but really, really like it. I think it's really, really excellent. So this came in the post for me a couple of days ago and I wanted to share it with you. I haven't had a proper chance to use it, but I think my name is on it, but I'm not sure. It must be, right? It's actually the new bronzer by Victoria Beckham and it's in shade one. And there is, it's the matte bronzing brick and look, it's got my name on it. <laughs> Very special. I'll tell you that because I, I think Victoria Beckham's makeup line is probably the best I would say it's better than Charlotte Tilbury out there. I think it's really, really good. If you're looking for that really high end, I mean, mine's the best, but if you're looking for the highest end products, then I think it beats Tom Ford, in my opinion. This is it, this is shade one, which would be perfect for my skin tone, by the way, because, you know, I, I'm not overly a fan of overly bronzing somebody's face, so this is perfect for me. Um, both of them are matte textures, and one is considered a, a contour and one is like a warm. So very similar to my palette actually. Uh, that's some swatches quickly for you. Glorious. But the, 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 whole, the whole thing about it just feels so classy. Um, it contains 9.6 grams of product. Now speaking of Victoria Beckham, I'm gonna, I've already talked about this one before, but I wanted to mention it again because it's one of the most subtle mascaras on the market. And the, the applicator one looks like that. It's really quite tiny, but it is just the most beautiful mascara. If you're looking for a really subtle effect, lots of people have done reviews on it here, far better than my terrible lashes would ever be able to convey. Now, a friend of mine said I should get this because speaking of terrible lashes, it's, I think it's called Mavala, and it is a double lash for longer, fuller, stronger lashes. And it's like a lash growth serum, I guess. I've never used it before and I've only just started, but I'll put a link in the description bar. Let me know if you think this is any good because I think it'd be interesting. And I think we'll end on a high note. So this is one of my all time favorite glosses. It is Antique Rose and it is the most beautiful, beautiful color. It is of course my lip gloss. And everything about this, 
I love. I love the smell of it. There's a tiny, tiny hint of mint. It isn't overly sticky and it's just the most beautiful color. It looks beautiful over nudes and pinky, beigey browns. It's just such a pretty color. And you know, I love, I love everything about it. I love the casing, the fact that it looks like a little nail polish. I just adore it. So that's my favorites this month. It's a small category, but sometimes small is best. <laughs> that's what I keep telling myself. So thank you for watching. And just to give you a little update, because some of you have been very, very kind. Um, today is Sunday and Wednesday, I'm going for my second re root canal with an endontist this time. So I went to see him last week because of the pain and he's going to redo the root canal, which I'm hoping to God that that will fix this one at least. He did look at the other three that have infections in. So it turns out there's only two and he compared them because he did them. He compared them to when he first did them to how they are now, which is actually about nearly six years ago. And he said that they're barely any different in terms of how they looked on the x-ray. Um, he said that one tooth at the back could definitely be saved with a reroute canal if I need it in the future. He doesn't want me to do it now. And the other one, if it plays up, will have to be pulled because he just said he cannot save that one. Um, and ironically, that's the one that's like right here, which is just fabulous. Um, so that's the outcome there. So this one will be done Wednesday. And I had to book in for two two hour appointments. Can you imagine? Jesus, two hour appointments. That's just, anyway. So yeah, I'm doing that and hope I'm hoping with everything that on the 21st, this one in the front, when the proper ones are put in, it will stop the pain that I've got there because there is a sensitivity issue here that is extreme at the moment, anything cold, so I can't use mouthwash at the moment. When I'm brushing my teeth, I've got to make sure that it's run under really warm water because it's going right through it. And then the whole teeth just vibrate with this, um, you know, just awfulness, just awfulness. It's been such an awful year so far, not fun. Anyway, so thank you for your kind comments. Um, you're, you're all very, very sweet and I really do appreciate it. And um, let me know what you think of these products. I think they're quite lovely, really do. Thanks for watching, I appreciate your time more than you know, and I will see you all soon, bye-bye.